Dennis just got the Sandvik tools. Yeah, just got our new Christmas order in. <laughs> Pretty excited. The new Doosan. All of our, yeah, all of our new tooling. Well, not all of it, but a bunch of it. Our new tooling for our uh, new Doosan. Call it chucks for our milling cutters and all the Sandvik Coramint Capto uh, C6. What the heck do you mean? <laughs> the Coramint Capto is this, uh, it's very, uh, very cool. It's like the tapered tri trigon shape that uh, allows really extremely accurate location in in, uh, in multiple directions. So it pulls up tight against the face. It's really solid because you get that much contact with your spindle. Yeah. It locates it extremely accurately and it radi or you know uh, radially because of the uh, the shape of it inherently and the the taper to it actually. When the clamp clamps it, it actually spreads out this material and makes it like pretty much a contact or interference fit on the uh, on the spindle itself. So it's super solid, super rigid, and, and that's exactly like the cool. uh, the hive uh, crank concept. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> thing, though. Yeah, yeah, it kind of shows there's nothing new in biking, but yeah. it's a good concept. So can, we, why not? can you uh, take us to the machine and put some stuff in? Sure. So I, I, this is the new do sound we have. It's kind of new technology for me. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, it's the new uh, Doosan Puma MX2100 uh, ST. So what the, uh, the MX is sort of a mill turn machine, so it's a five axis milling capability on two spindles. So we got, uh, we got our main spindle here, yeah. our sub spindle here. We've got our turning turret down here, which is X and Z. And then we've got up here, we've got a milling spindle, but it can also be used for turning. And what, uh, so that our tooling would go in here like that. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's a milling tool, of course. That's a call it chuck. And then uh, this this is free to rotate this way and this way, so we can work on the front or the back spindle at the same so it's time. Two axis up top. It's yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's actually three axis three. up top. It's it's a rot rotary axis, a, a, a B axis, it's an X axis, and it's also a Y axis. It moves in and out this way as yeah. well. Okay. So we get three axes that way. Then we get uh, four. And it's actually four. Sorry, this because it moves back and forth. So there's four axes. Then you've got the fifth axis is the rotational direction of that spindle. Six axis is the rotational direction of that spindle. And the seventh and eighth axes are... are well, you know what I mean. It's yeah. a seven, eight. It's, it's actually eight and nine, but... <laughs> it gets complicated. Kind of, yeah, it gets complicated. <laughs> and then this um, is where we can put any tool we imagine. Yeah, we can put all of our turning tools, or we can put milling tools in here as well, actually. We're not limited to turning tools on the turret. On the, on the turret. Cool. And this is going to make our amp stem. This is going to make our new amp stem. That's why we waited a little while. It's going to make it in one setup and it's going to do a cool. really, really good job of it. And that's the part catcher. That's the part catcher here. So it the parts will come in, gets taken out on a conveyor out the back end of the machine right there. Cool. Yeah, and then we, um, you were saying we're not going to do robotics. Like it comes through here, goes into the bin. You could yeah. have a robot unloading it. Well, if we, like if we have process a from machine, load machine. Well, if we, had a, if, we, if we put a robot to this machine, which we probably will down the road, it will uh, it will load a plank into one chuck. The part will come out. It will get taken out to the, out to a, we'll put another conveyor on this end to accumulate the parts. Cool, man. And it'll just load the parts in the machine, and there we go. It's a huge machine. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> Thanks, 20, Edge Factor. Twenty-seven thousand pounds. <laughs> bling <of machine>. bling. <laughs> Rad. Well, now you're smarter. This is um, why we've been delaying on the stem. Kind of a necessary investment. And it's gonna have a bar feeder. Where's the bar feeder coming out? Well, if we choose to put the bar feeder, the bar feeder would start there and go back uh, to uh, somewhere around here, I think. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so this is not a uh, small investment nor machine. Cool, I'm stoked. That's it. How do I shut this off? <laughs>